If you've seen my videos before and know who I am, you know that I was an extremely active member in the investment community, for several years actually, and a lot of people do still ask me why I stopped playing the game mode. So many of us used to love SM, but now the server is just a crashing mess. In this video, I'm going to be doing my best to give you guys a brief summary of why so many people left the community, and a personal overview of the server. So, without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy, because this video is going to be a little longer than my usual ones. Now of course, I understand that some of you guys watching might not even know what on earth SM is. So let's start off here. SM, also known as LBSM, which stands for Lifeboat Survival Mode, is one of the most popular game modes in the Lifeboat Networks. And if you're wondering what the Lifeboat Networks is, it's one of the featured servers in the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. The main idea of SM is to have some sort of a resemblance of the vanilla version of Minecraft but with a twist, since there is going to be a decent population of players. This means that if this was a normal survival world, doing basic tasks such as trying to mine wood, or even gathering some of the rarer resources such as diamonds, iron, would be nearly impossible due to the population and how destructive the SM maps are. However, that isn't the case in SM, as most players would usually start off a game by mining a tree and going off from there, Lifeboat made it so that getting these resources was much, much easier. You see, one of the things that Lifeboat decided to keep in SM that was actually beneficial towards the players was the random generated chests around the map. These chests would often carry essential and valuable items alike, such as wood, cobblestone, ores, and of course food. This made farming in SM somewhat easier. Since we're on the topic of resources, I want to talk about the diamond generation on the old SM maps. Now, acquiring diamonds used to be extremely easy. Diamonds used to be found at the Y5 coordinates in the old SM map, and they were extremely common. You'd be able to get yourself a set within 5 or 10 minutes of just mining. Things stayed like this for a pretty large amount of time as we had the diamond generation from 2017 to 2021. Now, you might be wondering, what changed? Why did the diamond generation just go? And I'm going to be explaining that, but it's important to understand that it wasn't just the diamond generation that changed, it was the whole game mode. When the game mode first updated, we were all interested to see what had changed. And trust me when I say a lot had changed. From the very first moment you spawned in to the PvP, everything was different. The map, the knockback, even the mobs were acting different. It wasn't long before players started to mine out Y5 to see if the diamond generation was the same, and to our surprise, it wasn't. I genuinely believe that this update is the reason that so many people left the community, including myself. Now of course, players didn't start to leave the game mode immediately. In fact, I think the update brought in more players as everyone was curious to see what had changed. And a few days after the update was actually released, the old maps were given back to us, along with the Wi Fi generated diamonds. However, the server software remained the updated version, meaning the PvP mechanics were still different, along with there being numerous bugs. But I won't be getting into that in this video. Around 11 months after the update, Things took a huge fall when Lifeboat had announced that the maps were going to be changed to completely random generated maps, once again taking away our beloved diamond generation. The whole structure of SM began to alter rapidly. Players were confused about what to do about this. Most players were forced to x-ray to get diamonds if they didn't want to spend hours mining for a full set of diamond armor, and this itself caused a whole array of issues with large amounts of players getting banned and locked, but that of course still didn't stop them. Around a year ago, I decided that I'd make a video called What is SM? The basic idea around the video was for me to make a commentary video going over what SM is, how the game mode worked and addressing some of the issues about the game mode, but I decided to cut the video short and only go over some of the key changes that was brought to us after the SM 2.5 update. There are a lot of things I didn't talk about, like the massive issues with hackers and servers being crashed, but I think I'm going to keep that for another video. Well. 
but that about wraps us up for today. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give me some support by leaving me with a thumbs up and of course subscribing. If you guys want to see me make more videos like these, just let me know in the comments. I'm open to your ideas.